Hello and welcome to Lecture 6, Part D. In this section, we will assess whether the control chart is in statistical control or not. The rules for assessing whether the process is in statistical control or not are based on probabilities associated with the normal distribution. Some examples of out-of-control conditions are if any point falls outside the upper or lower control limit, if we have a run of eight points above or below the centre line, or if we have two consecutive points beyond two standard deviations of the centre line. In addition, the process is considered to be out of control if we have any unusual patterns inconsistent with the normal distribution. Let's take a look again at the normal distribution. The probabilities of a point falling beyond three plus and minus three standard deviations is extremely low. Bear in mind, in our control chart, the limits are set at plus and minus three standard deviations. So if a point falls outside these limits, then it is expected that special cause variation is present. Similarly, we would expect very few points to fall between two and three standard deviations, or in other words, beyond two standard deviations of the centre line. In actual fact, in total, only 5% of all measurements should fall beyond two standard deviations of the centre line. Let's take a look at some examples of out of control conditions. Here we see a point falling above the upper control limit. The probability of this occurring is very low. Only 0.135% of all values would fall beyond the upper control limit. Similarly, the probability of a point falling below the lower control limit is very low. So when it occurs, it's an indication that special cause variation may be present. So we need to investigate what is occurring in our process. Here's an, another example of an out of control condition. Here we have eight points in a row falling below the center line. Now it's not unusual to get eight points falling below the center line, but it is unusual to get eight points in a row falling below the centre line. This would be similar to tossing a coin and in eight consecutive throws getting eight heads. At that point you may begin to suspect that there's something wrong with your coin. Now this is probably occurring because the process mean has shifted. While the process mean was centred at this point, the process mean now appears to have drifted downwards so in other words, our process is out of control. Here we see an example of eight points above the center line. Again, this is considered an out of control condition. What is probably occurring in our process is that our mean has shifted upwards. And this now represents our mean. Here we see an example of another out of control condition. The probability of two points lying beyond two standard deviations was very low. In actual fact, we only expected 2.5% of all measurements to fall in this region and another 2.5% to fall in the region here. So when it occurs, we begin to suspect that there's something wrong with our process and we investigate. Here's another example of an out of control condition. All the points are falling between the upper and lower control limit. In fact, the points look to be nicely centered around the mean. However, bearing in mind that these limits were chosen based on the natural variation we were seeing in the process, it is therefore unusual that the points are so tightly clustered around the mean. It would indicate that the variation has changed. Now you might think that this is a good positive condition. However, the likelihood is that this may have occurred because the measurements are being taken incorrectly, or there may even be data falsification taking place. Okay. When we get 16 or more consecutive points lying between plus and minus one standard deviation, we consider the process to be out of control because this is an extremely unlikely event based on the normal distribution. This is referred to as stratification, and again, it indicates that we need to investigate what might be happening in our process. 
In order to achieve ongoing process control, we need to resolve the root cause of any out of control condition. Once the data is consistently within these trial control limits, then these limits should be extended to cover future periods, and we gather data and plot against these limits. We should periodically review the control limits to ensure that they are consistent with the process. This concludes Lecture 6, Part D.